Hello, this is Kathy uh, Navin reporting live from the Paul Verde Library, and we have family today, and we just talked to Scott. Scott is the grandson of beloved Barbara Edwards, a teacher here that died in 9-11, and now we're talking to... Francine Edwards, and, and Francine. I'm Barb's uh, sister-in-law. Barb's sister-in-law. You flew in for this ceremony today? Yes. Where did you fly in from? Uh, from Grand Rapids, Michigan, to Chicago, to here. Okay, and so you knew Barbara well. Uh, can you tell her... Uh, she's a beloved teacher here that died, but you loved her as a family member. Yes. We were very close. Um, we're, she was more like my sister. Oh. We kind of lived in a world of men. Yeah. She had boys, I had boys. We married brothers. And uh, we we cared for each other a lot. It was oh. more a uh, sister than sister-in-law. She really had no other sister-in-law, so I was it. It was it. And, uh, and uh, she was it for me. Well, you look uh, pretty young, so... Oh, well, I, I'm not, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what do you do? Are you a husband? I'm a retired RN, 47 years. Thank nursing. you for your service thank as you. a nurse, and thank you for speaking to us today. Tell me about the tribute. Did you enjoy it? It was so fitting, and I told other people that when you lose a loved one, um, I know this circumstance was extraordinary and, and painful for the, for the country and for the world, but when you lose someone that you love and you miss them, uh, it's comforting to come to a place where hundreds of other people miss her too. Absolutely. And she's not just one of the people that perished on that day. She's someone that's remembered and will always be remembered and that's comforting to the family. Yes, because her loss impacted the world yes. because she was a teacher. There was a lot of teachers lost, but uh, in this school, they the ROTC has remembered her in a ceremony every year. And I, I find that, that it, it's so comforting. And even though we've been far away, we would get the uh, newspaper writings and her, her father really, uh, he, he just passed away this past year I know. in February. And he would have so been thrilled with the idea that we were coming here to celebrate Barb. Okay, well, I'm glad you came. And uh, we would ask you to check out a video called 48 Passengers. It's 48 Passengers at My Angel Cafe. And you can see the other victims that died along with your sister on that fateful day. Thank you and so, so thank you again. I want to shake the hands and say goodbye. Kathy Naven, live, Paul Verde High School, September 11th, 2021. I can't believe the year. Okay, God bless each and every one of you.